these gigantic black holes lurk at the center of galaxies. We have one right in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. First of all, the black disk in the center is the event horizon. For a century, physicists eagerly awaited revelations about black holes. The recent publication of the first black hole image stirred not only the excitement of renowned physicist Mikio Kaku, but also the scientific community at large. Black holes, colossal cosmic entities with masses millions of times that of our sun, have long intrigued us, lurking invisibly throughout the universe. Despite their ubiquity, our understanding was limited. Michio Kaku now declares a breakthrough. We've unraveled the mystery of what lies within a black hole. Prepare for a journey into the heart of these cosmic giants as we reveal what's inside a black hole. While most have heard of black holes, the details remain unknown to many. Commonly thought to form from collapsing massive stars, black holes are not mere holes but rather enigmatic round objects with immense weight composed of unknown matter. Black holes stand out in the cosmos due to their immense gravity, created by colossal mass. Weighing several million solar masses, they bend space-time intensely, attracting nearby objects like colossal dust sours. Anything that ventures close, dust clouds, gases, stars, or planets, is torn apart like spaghetti by the extreme gravity and then drawn into the mysterious interior behind the event horizon. The conventional view suggests matter inside is compressed to a singularity. However, Mikio Kaku challenges this idea. The enigmatic world of black holes unfolds when matter is broken down into information components inside. The recent achievement of capturing the first photo of a black hole reveals a reality that was initially a mathematical assumption for nearly 60 years originating from Albert Einstein's postulation in 1916 within his general theory of relativity. In the early 1970s, astronomers directed their focus to a brilliantly shining star in Cygnus, leading to the discovery of the first black hole, Cygnus X1. The star's peculiar behavior hinted at the presence of an invisible yet massively dense object. Intensive X-ray observations and theoretical calculations confirmed the existence of this stellar black hole formed by the collapse of a massive star weighing 15 to 20 times the mass of our Sun. Cygnus X1 is relatively small for a black hole. Today, our understanding has expanded, revealing thousands of black holes throughout the galaxy with the possibility of millions. Moreover, the recognition of supermassive black holes several million times the mass of the Sun, residing in the centers of galaxies, including our own, has become a well-established aspect of cosmic knowledge. Almost 50 years elapsed from the historic discovery of the first black hole to capturing its initial photograph. This image enthused astrophysicist Mikio Kaku, a longtime advocate of the black hole theory, who perceives them as remnants of massive stars. However, when pondering the interior of a black hole, Kaku introduces his perspective. He suggests that within a black hole, classical experimental physics posits the breakdown of matter into its elemental components. According to Albert Einstein's general relativity theory, the gravitational forces of black holes are so immense that nothing, not even light, can escape. Unlike light, Information is considered more fundamental in quantum mechanics, where it cannot be destroyed or lost. The tension between these concepts constitutes the information paradox, leaving physicists grappling with the theoretical fate of information swallowed by a black hole, seemingly lost in the cosmos forever. Kaku's professional focus revolves around resolving the paradox of black holes. He proposes solutions by integrating quantum effects where the world of quanta introduces possibilities of multiple dimensions, realities, and time. Quantum physics experiments suggest that black holes may not be cosmic traps. Instead, they could serve as massive portals or even wormholes to other worlds. In this quantum realm, what enters a black hole here might theoretically emerge from a white hole in another dimension. Perhaps this white hole is a star born when our world's old star extinguished shedding recycled information into its surroundings. Another prospect involves information escaping our universe through Hawking radiation, 
subtly and undetected from inside a black hole. Stephen Hawking demonstrated that a small radiation emanates from black holes, originating from quanta entangled with counterparts inside, sharing information codes indefinitely. Exploring a captivating variation within black holes, the care wormhole offers an intriguing perspective on their internal dynamics. In 1963, mathematician Roy Kerr from New Zealand utilized Einstein's gravitational equations to articulate the concept of rotating black holes. These cosmic entities acquire rotation if the torque from the dying star persists. As per Einstein's general relativity, a rapidly spinning black hole can emit energy and angular momentum through the Penrose process, allowing the expulsion of matter and energy while the black hole loses angular momentum. This mechanism raises speculation about potential instability leading to a black hole's collapse. Contrary to prior beliefs, Kerr's work suggested that a rotating black hole doesn't collapse into a point but transforms into a ring of fire or a thin disk, unveiling a dynamic facet of these enigmatic celestial phenomena. During his studies, Kerr not only unraveled the intriguing nature of rotating black holes, but also unearthed evidence supporting the existence of an Einstein-Rosen bridge, commonly known as a wormhole. While wormholes are often associated with science fiction, they trace their conceptual roots back to Albert Einstein, not mere creations of authors or filmmakers. Einstein's theory of relativity weaves space and time into a single, interconnected entity, four-dimensional space-time. Objects with mass, like stars and black holes, warp this fabric, generating a gravitational field that attracts other objects. In the realm of wormholes, envision space-time as a sheet of paper Connect two points with a line, representing the distance between them. Fold the sheet, and magically, the distance between these points is significantly shortened. Kerr's revelations offer a glimpse into the fascinating interplay of gravity and spacetime, revealing the potential intricacies of these theoretical passages. According to Einstein's calculations, a wormhole operates as a shortcut through spacetime resulting from the immense curvature caused by massive objects like black holes. This curvature extends like a funnel into distant regions and possibly other dimensions. However, there's a catch. Wormholes are inherently unstable, opening, closing, or collapsing periodically. Despite the intriguing concept, using wormholes for human or spaceship travel is implausible. Even if stabilized, relativity dictates that traveling faster than light within our spacetime is impossible. A potential exception lies within black holes, where the laws of Einstein's spacetime structure might be suspended. The Kerr Wormhole While wormholes capture scientific imagination, their practical application for interstellar travel remains firmly within the realm of theoretical possibilities. We've introduced the New Zealand astronomer and mathematician Roy Kurtzu. Kerr continued working on his accidental discovery, leading to the creation of the wormhole named after him. The Kerr wormhole, in theory, is a ring-shaped portal acting like a magic mirror, serving as the entrance to another dimension or universe. On the flip side, a traveler might find themselves in a completely different universe, where everything is light instead of dark, and stars absorb light instead of emitting it. As per quantum theories, this alternate world could be almost identical to ours, and it's conceivable that you might encounter a different version of yourself there. However, conservative scientists cast doubt on these ideas, stating that the discovered Kerr wormhole is unstable and impassable due to intense radiation and subatomic forces around its entrance. The challenge lies in reconciling the theories of classical physics with quantum theories, a task tackled several times by Mikio Kaku. His efforts to formulate a comprehensive theory that unites the world of subatomic forces with Einstein's gravitational world primarily rely on string theory. The superstring theory brings together gravity and the theory of smallest particle radiation in a harmonious way. However, it introduces a peculiarity that some physicists have been hesitant to embrace. According to the theory, subatomic particles are not tiny points but one-dimensional oscillating threads or strings. 
The universe is envisioned as an extensive network of such strings, generating matter, and the familiar physical forces of gravity, motion, and electromagnetic radiation through their oscillations. A captivating aspect of superstring theory is that as these strings move through the dimension of time, they deform the space matrix around them. This process is proposed to explain the formation of black holes, wormholes, and other phenomena in the universe. However, these equations only align if there are 10 dimensions instead of the previously known four. The existence of these additional six dimensions poses numerous unknowns and challenges for researchers. This uncertainty is a key reason why string theory remains heavily debated to this day. Superstring theory connects gravity and particle radiation, picturing subatomic particles as one-dimensional oscillating strings. These strings, forming a vast network, supposedly create matter and fundamental forces like gravity and electromagnetic radiation. An interesting twist comes as these strings move through time, distorting the surrounding space, potentially explaining cosmic phenomena like black holes and wormholes. However, the theory demands ten dimensions, six more than we typically accept, leaving researchers dealing with uncertainties. When you consider black holes, do you think there's a chance that people might travel through them to other dimensions someday?